Hi everyone, and welcome to Jane Talks Buffy, where I'll be talking about and reviewing all the episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in order. Today, I'm looking at Season 7, Episode 4, Help. We begin the episode with a dead lady, RIP that lady, but the other coffins are occupied by Buffy, Xander and Dawn, and they discuss how stressful things have been lately with Willow's return, the threat of a big bad, and Buffy's new job. They stare at the dead lady, who is a vampire, so a stake for her, and into the credits we go. On her first day of her new job, Buffy gets a couple of kids, including Bully Demander, Thomas, who doesn't want to talk, and this guy Peter, who is just wasting Buffy's time. While Willow and Xander discuss the impending threat, and if Willow will be able to control her powers. But Xander gives her some pretty good advice. Willow crosses the graveyard alone and visits Tara, while Buffy gets more kids into her office. One who tries to hit on her, and even Dawn, before she's visited by Cassie, who I know from a small recurring role in CSI Miami. She says she's not doing her homework because she's going to die next Friday, which worries Buffy, but she's not planning on hurting herself. She's actually psychic, and her death will involve coins. So maybe stay away from the arcade. She says Buffy can't help and warns her not to stain her shirt. So Buffy goes to Robin, who isn't concerned because kids say crazy things. But then Buffy spills coffee on her top, so recruits Dawn to help. She spies on Cassie and her friend Mike before just straight up talking to her, but she's a bit evasive, so Willow hacks into her records and then noses at her poetry website, which includes a lovely piece about her own death. Willow says it's pretty normal, but Dawn thinks Mike's going to kill her before they look up Cassie's dad, who has quite the rap sheet, so they go to his house and accuse him of potentially hurting Cassie, and he rants off on Buffy before becoming a little heartfelt, and they leave. Cassie tells them that her dad is not the one who kills her, and they tell her to fight her fate, causing her to give a similar speech to Buffy in Becoming. And I feel kind of bad for her, but also she creeps me out a little. Hey, is Umbrella involved? They set fire to a picture of Cassie at any rate, and the next day, Buffy reads more poetry, which plays over a research montage. Oh, do we have to visit Spike again? Buffy wants to recruit him to help Cassie, but he's less than helpful and punches himself in the face. So she tries again. It's a bust, and instead she harasses Mike, who seems pretty chill. A bunch of coins drop out of a locker, so Buffy interrogates the owner of said locker. I'm going to connect with your face if you don't stop wasting my time and help me do my job. And that's enough to get him to talk. Dawn offers to walk Cassie home, but when this guy from earlier messes with her, Cassie disappears. Oh joy, it's a meeting of the robed buttholes who plan to do a get rich ritual, and this guy has booby trapped the doors. Cassie is there as a sacrifice, but one of the robes is Buffy, and she kicks Peter in his Peters. Oh hi there demon, nice of you to show. Buffy fights it as Peter tries to kill Cassie, but Flaming Spike shows up, withstanding the chip pain to give Peter a beatdown, and now the demon is on fire. I'll forgive the CGI flames, because a fire stunt with those kinds of prosthetics would not end well. Spike frees Cassie, who says Buffy will someday tell him, and mad his ritual failed, Peter yells at the crispy demon, who bites him in the neck and then explodes. As Buffy and Cassie leave the library, they set off a booby trap, which Buffy stops right before Cassie collapses and dies, from an unknown heart condition. So Dawn comforts Buffy. She died because of her heart, not because of you. Cassie creeps me out, maybe retroactively because of conversations with dead people, but she's an interesting character which I wish they'd used more, even though her psychic powers aren't explained. Hellmouth, I guess. This one harkens back to earlier Buffy episodes where the gang are trying to stop something from happening in the school. And while the feeling is there, it just makes me yearn for the old high school as this one has no charm. It's a little bit earshot, a little bit reptile boy, and I think season seven tries to mirror the early themes and ideas of the show. But like a lot of remakes, it misses the mark in a way I just can't put my finger on. Before coming into this season, I assumed it would land at the bottom of the ranking, but so far it's not too bad. There's a lot of healing and characters actually talking to one another and caring about each other's feelings, so so far so good. It was a nice moment with Willow visiting Tara's grave and Xander being there to support her. And Dawn is so much more proactive as a fully fledged Scooby and thinks of others' feelings now, which is a much better place for her character. We have three deaths. One vampire, the lady in the funeral home staked by Buffy. One demon, the ritual demon set on fire by Buffy. And one human, 
woman, Cassie, who Buffy tried so hard to protect but died from a heart condition. Which brings our running total to four humans, two vampires, and two demons. So there you have it. That was help. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below or come say hi on social media. If you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button, it really does mean a lot, or consider subscribing if you want to be sired by my channel. Alternatively, feel free to check out my other YouTube channels. Thank you so much for watching, I'll speak to you soon, and don't let the vampires bite.